guys, how's it going? Welcome to Jumpstart for Tuesday, October 7, 2008. Uh, we got a lot to talk about today, there's a lot going on, but first, as always, let's start with some of the cool levels that you guys have made. There's so many cool levels coming in, and I don't have a chance to highlight them all right now, but rest assured, we're playing them all, they're all awesome, and keep it coming, because we're having a great time seeing them and hearing all the feedback that you guys uh, have as well. So starting off, we've got the Super World of Platforms by Makagu, and this is just a really well-designed level uh, with good pacing, a few secret areas, and just some solid platforming. I really like this one. Next we have Lecky's Trampoline Fun Map by Lecky1982, and this was a really clever idea. Lecky made these spike platforms all move up really fast, so they catapult you up into the air to catch all sorts of treasures and power-ups. And as the name suggests, yes, it's a fun map. Space Invaders Extreme by Taro Taro is awesome. It's more of an interactive art piece than a level, but it's a great atmosphere take on Space Invaders and is worth checking out. In the same vein is 8-Bit World by Abby91. This one left me speechless. This is the single most impressive pixel art level I've seen so far. Really great one. The Great Tree Climb Update uh, by Mr. Profile is a really cool treehouse level with multiple finishes and one especially helpful secret stash of power-ups. It's very cool. And finally, Fast Track by Fast One is very cool because I think Fast One invented a new type of gameplay, and that's the racetrack level. Basically, you just run around and collect all these speed boost power ups and make it to these time bonuses before time runs out. And that's such a cool idea that I think we're going to make that this week's designer challenge. So, you want to try to make the best racetrack level you can. All that really entails is making Cameron run around a track at some sort of ridiculous speed. Maybe you have checkpoints or power-ups, maybe you have fireballs and quicksand traps, maybe you have enor enormous jumps off of giant ramps, it's completely up to you. The faster, the better. So when you upload your level, make sure to put at the bottom the tag RACE08, and that'll let us search for it, and we'll find the best levels, and we'll announce them and highlight them on the next show we have at Jumpstart. Alright, so moving on to some press coverage. Uh, last Thursday, Chris Borello mentioned us on his show, and uh, he featured, and he was very positive about Atmosphere, and we all really appreciate the nice things he said. You can check out the whole thing at the Miner Studios Journal at minerstudios.com. We have it all posted there. He talked for about eight minutes. And thanks to Gelada for a great review on a Linux Hacker that actually got us to the front page of Dig, so thank you very much for that as well. Uh, we've linked to that full article on our Twitter feed at Miner Studios as well. And uh, I think that's it for today, so thanks so much for listening and watching, and uh, check back uh, throughout the week. We're going to have more tutorials about moving platforms and falling platforms and a bunch of different things like that. So thanks for watching, and have a great day.